I don't. Okay. Oh, what's this? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for dinner? Uh, no way. As long as I got pizza delivery. Now this is uh, Michelle's lunch for school tomorrow. You think she's too old for peanut butter and jelly? Ed, you never get too old for peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I wanted to bring you the rent check. Oh, okay. Uh, listen, do you have any idea when Evie's going to be getting off work? I've got some really fantastic news to share with her. Eve, no, she's not on call tonight. Let go. I just want to talk to you, Melinda. Look, if this is about Nick, well, the situation. There is no situation. Now, if you don't mind, I'm working. Uh, Melinda. Look, there is nothing to talk about, Eve, okay? Hi, may I help you? What are you doing here? Having dinner. That's right. And uh, right, we're just about to sit down, so if you don't... Excuse me. You're working for him? Look, I got nothing to say to you. Come on, let's get out of get here. Get your hands off me. Park. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just leave the boy alone. lives a living hell. Michael, your blackmailing days are over. You stay away from Neil. He gave someone... What are you doing here? ...a motive for murder. I didn't want him around here, but I never wanted him dead. These are the suspects, but who in the world did it? You really think Scott's capable of murder? As the world turns this week... On CBS this morning, it's breakfast for your head. Get out of my way. Who is the that? Boy want to go the boy is my they son. Don't I'm just sorry about that, Rock, but I invited him to dinner. Well, there's there's man this man is no friend of our family. family. Why would you take a job with him? Look, that's none of your business. You could have come to me. Do you know Jenna Bradshaw wants to talk to you about a job? Oh, so you could pretend I was working for her instead of you, huh? That's pretty lame. Look, I don't want to work for you. I don't even want to talk to you. I don't want anything to do with you. Well, that sounds pretty damn clear. You did this! You deliberately turned him against me. Can't you see that? Can't you see he's using you to get to me? This is just like a real-life family feud, isn't it? Hush! We will please discuss this later. You're going to upset the baby. Nadine, have you got a phone in the kitchen? Yeah, or... or I want to call Randy again. Why? I'm not going to. Ah, oh, shut up! Just ask him. Ask him why he's doing this. I mean, I, I could swear that Eve said she was going to be working at the hospital. No, I talked to her earlier. Uh, she didn't mention anything about it. Maybe she got a call, had to cover somebody at the last minute. Yeah. Want some coffee? Um, look, only if you have it made. No, I'm, I'm putting it on right now. It's easier to make for two. You know? I always keep putting too much in. Come on. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Eve had a meeting. Yeah, maybe. You know, it's getting kind of hard to keep track of her, you know? I mean, every time I talk to her, she's either substituting for somebody or chairing some committee. Yeah, she works very, very hard. Yeah, she certainly does. Gotta leave time for each other, though, you know? Yeah, you do. Well, that might get kind of hard right now. I'm gonna get pretty busy myself. Alan Michael and I, we just got control of the Springfield Journal. You're kidding. Nope. Hey, I thought, uh... What's her name? Emma Bradshaw. Jenna. Jenna, <laughs> right. I thought that was hers, huh? Oh, well, we managed to work out a deal with her. Uh, she gets the house, and we get the junk. Jenna's gonna be living in Alexandra's house? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, but hey, the paper is the start, right? Not that it's doing really good these days. Circulation is very low. 
That's all right. You guys can get it back up to speed, can't you? Well, let's hope so. And I think I may have get, gotten Fletcher to come on board. Oh, see, that's good, man. That's when the paper was good when he was running it. Yeah, so I hear. So you must be really excited, huh? Oh, excited is an understatement. You know what the good part is? I don't have to work for Roger Thorpe anymore. Oh, now you're talking. You know something? I haven't seen a waffle line in years. Yeah, you know anything about fixing them? Are you kidding me? The only thing I know about waffles are they're in the frozen food section. Uh, so what's wrong with it? Beats me. Well, you'll fix it. You're super dad. Hardly. That's just Marine's been after me for a year to fix this thing, and then... I mean, she was after me. It... I keep doing that. Hey, it's all right. No, what I mean, I'd really like for people to just come over and be able to have some coffee and not think of me as some... <laughs> you know, I just... I'd like people to be able to come over and feel comfortable. That's all. I do, Ed. You know, it's only natural. I mean, it really hasn't been a long time. I know, people keep saying it's gonna get easier, it just hasn't so far, that's all. Well, to tell you the truth, I think that you have been pretty amazing. I don't know, there just seemed to be so many things that Maureen could handle a lot better than me. Hmm. You know, Maureen was one of those people that could handle practically anything better than anybody. I know. I know. I was very lucky. You only get to feel that way once in a lifetime. Hey, look, I really hate asking you to help me do this. But, you know, it's like Taylor 20 just no, left and no we got Patrick Gill. Two bus boys out with the flu, right? Nobody gets to fit on a night off. Yeah. Look at the bright side. At least the bus boys have it and not the cup. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> you seem to be in a pretty good mood here tonight. Yeah, why not? Life's good and it's only going to get better. Yeah. Hey, uh -huh. now go. Soothe the customers. I'll get this done in a jiffy. Oh, good. Thanks, thanks. Uh-huh. All right. Use a little help. Your cab should be here any minute. What's the big idea? I didn't even get any supper. Well, here, here. Order room service at the hotel, okay? I want to eat here. These people are big shots. If I play this right, we're going to be big shots, but I got to handle it just right. I don't need you distracting me. What kind of scam are you up to now? Just there's your cab. Here, I'll see you later. Hmm. Trust me? No. That's my girl. Hey, you. He's just using you. Raj, don't come into my well, why house. Why else would he offer you a job? You think he wants you in his office because he likes it's you? It's not an office job. It's a construction job. Construction? Yeah. And I like it. I'm good at it. I've always been good with my hands. Why am I even telling you this? Because maybe you know in your heart this isn't right, that you should be working with me. No way. Okay, Raj, you've had your say. Now, why don't you just get out? What, what, what? Get out before he figures out what you're really up to? What's the matter? You afraid of the truth? Well, I certainly haven't heard the truth from you now. Okay, then listen up. And you listen closely. He's already stolen two big accounts from me. He's declared all-out war against me and the company. Yeah, I took those counts fair. I don't give a damn about the accounts. I care about my son. I won't stand by and watching you use him to get at me. That's what he's doing, son. Don't you see? This is a game to him. This is a con. And you're his pawn. I, I am not... It's the truth and you know it. You know that it's the best way to get to me is through my son. Hey, it's no different than if I stole your son right over there from you. You know, I just love a well-set table, everything in its proper place. Just, I don't know, probably why I like surgery so much. Surgery. 
see how all the instruments lined up and each for its own individual purpose? It's just kind of neat. Yeah, I bet you love the knives. Parts? Nothing. <laughs> Look, Eve, I really don't need any help. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Eve, would you stop? Please, honestly, it's not a bother. I don't mind. It's bothering me, okay? Look, this is my job, not yours. Well, I'm awfully sorry. The place is busy. I thought you could use a little help. Well, look, we are busy. There are customers who are waiting for tables, so if you're not going to use yours... Well, no, actually, I didn't come here to have dinner. Eve, I'm busy. I can't talk right now, all right? Well, I just wanted to clear up some things between us. No. What you want is my assurance that I'm not going to steal Nick away from you again. No, 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 I don't No, wait, 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 let me finish, okay? Because I really don't want to have this conversation again. Here's the story. I'm back. I'm working. This job and my design business. I'm going sometimes 18 hours a day, and I love it. Look, whatever hurt or resentment I had when I first came back is gone. I am much too busy and too happy to live life in the past. So, whatever it is that you, you have nothing to worry about about Nick, okay? End of story. I'm not worried. Then what are you doing here? And please don't tell me it's that you want to be friends, because that just isn't going to happen. Oh, no, 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 I know that's not possible. Then what is it? You didn't come here to help me set tables. Actually, I came here to make sure that you finally realized who was better for Nick, that's all. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Let's get out of here. Let's get someplace where we can talk. No! Why don't Art. you just leave, Raj? We got nothing to talk look, about. Look, I know you're angry with me. I made a big mistake with you. And I will never be able to make up for it, but I'm going to keep trying until my last breath. Now, if you're not ready to listen to me, I understand that. I have infinite patience where you're concerned, but in the meantime, I just want you to be careful. Don't let this guy manipulate you. Come on, Roger, I'm not manipulating! No matter what you think about me, I care about you. All right. Please. Don't! Look, Roger, I gave the boy a job I didn't want to come. You did you. this! You deliberately set out to sabotage me! That's not true! He gave me a job instead of... Instead of what? He caught me taking money from Towers Club. Wow. Yeah, he could have called the police. Instead, he gave me a job. So that's it. That's how you do it. I did the boy a favor, A Roger. favor, hell. This whole damn thing is a setup, isn't it? You set him up, didn't you? What? I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean... <laughs> well, no. Why don't you just buy another one? No, no, it's something to keep me busy. Oh, uh, where's Michelle? She's upstairs, sleeping, doing her homework, one or the other. How's she doing? She misses her mother. I've had a lot of help, though. Holly's been great. She comes over and talks to her and, and takes her out. She seems to be able to get through to her better than I can. Oh, women are generally much better at that type of thing. Hmm. Do you see uh, much of Mindy these days? Uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes. Uh, as a matter of fact, Eve and I were just over at her place the other night for a sledding party. Oh, yeah, Michelle went to that with Ben. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, Mindy's okay with uh, you and Eve? Uh, yeah, I think so. Now, um, you know, obviously it was difficult in the beginning. Uh, Melinda did some weird things, you know. Weird like what? Well, look, it's, it's not really important. I mean, what's important is that she's getting her life back on track, you know? She's throwing herself back into a designing career. I'm gonna get the call. It's good. <clears throat> yeah, it is good. Actually, I just saw her over at the Country Club bar. She was talking to a potential client, looking over some designs. So, I'll tell you, she looked good, you know? I mean, happy. The happiest I've seen her in a long time. Well, that must make it easier on all of you, then, huh? Yeah, I guess so. 
you know, not that I think that Eve and Melinda are going to be best friends any time in the near future, but, well, at least it's not so tense, right? Yeah, because it'd be the only natural thing to be a little jealous of Mindy. Eve? Jealous? No, not at all. I mean, as a matter of fact, she's been pretty fantastic. You know, really understanding. They obviously don't keep you very busy at that hospital. Oh, why is that? If you had enough time to come over here just to tell me that? Well, I was sure that you'd want to know that Nick's happy. I'm sure that Nick can decide who and what is best for him. You really are insecure, aren't you? Oh, more secure than you probably know. Good. Then we don't need to have this conversation again, do we? Look, I am far too busy focusing on my career right now to have a relationship with anyone. So you don't have to worry about Nick with me. Phew, I'm awfully glad to hear that. Now listen, you might want to let go of your past together because all it ends up doing is reminding him of how you hurt him. You ought to know about that. I never hurt him. You left him in Cambrai, didn't you? I never would have left him if I'd known he was going to propose to me. Anyway, it's not exactly your past behavior that I'm only concerned with. Hey, I don't think anything about my life concerns you. Just trying to make it easier for you to let go. Thank you so very much. It's really the right thing to do, Melinda. You know, there's just so many things that you can't give it. Like what? Well, like a baby. How did you... It doesn't matter how I know. We know he wants one, and you had two miscarriages. Wait, how the hell did the you know that? Probably Nick can't tell even you carry carry the term. Can you carry the term? I, I'm asking you. Why don't you just let the whole thing go? You can't give him what he wants, and I can. that Eve is okay about you and Mindy? Yeah. Um, why, Ed? Nothing. I, really, nothing. Forget it. I just... <laughs> oh, no, come on, Ed. I mean, did Eve say something to you? No, nothing specific. It's just, I don't know, what's just a feeling that I got. And it's, it's... I mean, I've seen it before. It's not unusual with people. I mean, in young medical professionals, you know, you got to remember how much time they've spent in school and in their internship and their residency, you know, it doesn't give them any time to develop any personal relationships, so there's always this gap, you know, in their emotional experience, and then with Eve, you know, you got to add on top the fact that she was in a war, she was in Cambrai, she was in prison, so... So what are you saying, that Eve may be having a hard time telling me how she feels with the situation with Melinda? Yeah, well, it's possible, isn't it? I mean, you know, a doctor like Eve, her part of her job, you know, any doctor, but part of her job is being able to tell someone that a person that they love might not be around tomorrow. So to do that, you got to be able to toughen your heart. You've got to cover over your pain, your feelings. If you can't do that, you couldn't survive. You wish! My least Nick wanted to have a baby with me. It's okay, everybody's all right. Just calm down. Just a little ass place. Mindy, what is that? Eve, are you okay? Yeah. I, mean, I can't believe Mindy did that. I mean, you could have gotten hurt, really. I Camp, I'm fine. Poor Melinda, you know. She just can't let go. And I feel awfully sorry for her. You blackmailed my son into working that for you. That is not what you do. Would he go to jail if he didn't work for you? Come on! Don't you just stop it. You're going to make the baby cry. I don't want any fighting in this house. Maybe you hear me? I will take care of this 
you just look after our son. Are you satisfied? Listen, Hawk. Shut up! What is it with you? Why can't you just stay out? You have to just keep pushing and pushing. Would you open your eyes? Can't you see what he's doing? I don't want to hear that. He's trying to take you away from me. Take me away? Get with it, Roger. Nobody's talked me into hating you. You manage that on your own. Yes, my little guy. Oh, hi, everything's going to be okay. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. fine. I just hate that Roger Thorpe. The nerve of him just barging in here uninvited. All I wanted was a nice, quiet evening at home. And now Billy's all in a rage and the poor baby got all upset. You know, Nadine, I'm sorry for just taking over like that down there. I just, I have to get him out of there. Oh, no, Bridget. Bridget, that was fine. You did just right. Just right. Roger Thorpe is such an evil man. Well, thank goodness. It seems like Hart does not take after him. No, he doesn't. And, you know, I, I, I know that he didn't mean to take the money from the towers. He's just been really confused ever since he's gotten back. Well, then maybe it was a good thing that it was Billy who found him. Billy's such a good influence on him. Much better than his own father would be, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I'd much rather see him working for Billy than for Roger. Roger Thorpe has no scruples. <laughs> Billy. Billy has more integrity than any man I have ever met. <laughs> He'll teach Hart how to be a real man. How to live up to his responsibilities and his commitments. <laughs> You'll see. You know, Bridget, Hart might even make up for that boy who got you pregnant and abandoned you. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Where do you get off talking about setups after you set up my grandfather oh, wait, wait. and me? Hart, I didn't... Look, don't even try to say it. I don't want to hear another lie of yours. You are the king of manipulation. You come in here and try to turn me against the one man who's been straight with me. Look, you don't even deserve to shine his shoes. I am grateful for that job. And I am glad to be working for a man I can respect, which is more than I could ever say for you. You want to do me a favor? Stay out of my life! I'm sorry. I can't stay here. That's okay, son. He doesn't have a car. You want to give him a lift? Right. Well, you must be real proud of yourself turning my son against me. Raj, you did this one all by yourself. It is a damn shame to see a boy with that much hate for his father. Well, I guess Hart isn't going to stay for dinner. Nadine, do you mind if I go out for a little while? Mm -hmm. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will be back in time to put my boy to bed. Oh, yes. honey, we will be just uh -huh. fine. Now, you I stay will. out as long as you want. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, and Bridget. Good luck, honey. Thanks. I have a good feeling about this. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> good thing your name, Roger. We certainly ain't got nothing to say. You want to come after me, fine. But going after my son, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. No, you made the mistake when you took up with that Jules and tried to take over Spalding. Listen, a court of law turned over Spalding to Jenna. Yeah, well, before it was even done, you had your spies out there trying to figure out how you're going to bring me down next. Oh, the hell I... Come on, Roger! My clients told me about it. Business managers told me about the bribes. Look, I don't feel one bit sorry about you and your son. Not one bit. I'll do whatever it takes to bring you down. I'm not going to sit around here and wait for you to add me to your list of conquests along with Chamberlain and Spaulding. What are you, nuts? Newsflash, Roger Thorpe. As long as I'm breathing, it ain't going to happen. Well, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you in ways you can't even begin to imagine. Here we are. Oh, thanks, Aunt. Nothing. Look, please, I want you to have dinner on the house, okay? Oh, no, thanks. I'd rather just go home. Well, you and Nick come back on another night. On me. I know. I don't, I don't think that would be a good idea. No, I promise you, this will not happen again. I'm going to talk to Mindy. Now, I'm assuming this is about Nick. Yeah, 
he still cares about her. Uh-huh. And uh, it's only natural, you know. They were going to be married, and he just, uh, he feels hurt when he realizes that she's not accepting our relationship. Um, I don't, I don't know what to do about it. And, you know, we've tried talking to her, and, and she's just taken it badly. I suppose I can't blame her, really. Look, please, you don't need to make any excuses for Mindy. She really could have hurt you. Oh, uh, no, I don't think she meant to do it. Well, I don't know. You... Listen, don't be hard on her, Hemp. Um, I'd rather just forget the whole thing ever happened. Wait, wait, let me call your cab. Oh, no, 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 no. My car's in the garage, so I'm just going to go down there now. I'll be all right. Okay. Well, do me a favor. Give me a call when you get home. Let me know you got there all right, please. Thank you. All right, take it easy. I'm really not in too much of a mood for surprises. Oh, honey, you will be. Mm -hmm. You will be. <laughs> Come here. Mm -hmm. Come here, you. Okay. Surprise. Oh. What's this? Well, you remember how careful I had to be when I was carrying Peter? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I saw Dr. Day today. And she said her words. We can resume marital relations. Mm. <laughs> that means we can make love, Billy. Whenever we want. As much as we want. Oh, darn, that's good news. Oh, I want to so much. I have missed sleeping with you so much. I have missed holding you and feeling you. And having your arms around me. Get Roger Thor. I can't. Man's coming after me. I don't know how or I don't know when, but I got to be prepared. I hate him. I don't want him anywhere near us. Couldn't be better. You know, my father and I, we used to argue all the time. Either my skirts were too short or my earrings were too long. It was always something. But I guess it's kind of different, huh? Yeah, it's kind of different. I'm sorry. You know, for a minute there... A minute what? When he was talking to me about how he felt, I had this flashback to the time when I found out he was my father. And this feeling I had, like I finally connected. We'd have these long talks about the future and Maybe working together. <laughs> I had so many expectations. I can't believe I really believed. And that's why I got so mad. Because I actually almost fell for it again. 
Bert, would you give yourself a break, please? It is so natural that you should want to have some kind of a relationship with your father. You know, and I wonder... I mean, I didn't know my mom that well. But what was it that she saw in him? I don't know. She'd write my grandfather these letters. They made him out to be this great guy. Like a hero. I can't understand it. She really loved him. Maybe it was just simply because he was the father of her child. Yeah. I guess that's it. You know, to me, it, it really seemed like he meant what he was saying. Oh, Bridget, you don't know Roger Thorpe. It seems to me like he cared about you. Yeah? Well, he can be very convincing if he wants to be. If he wants something. And I could kick myself for falling into it again, even for that second. I'm going to be sure always to be on my guard again. You don't know. Things may work out between no, you. No, never. I hate him. 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 Stop it. Stop it. I hate him. Stop it. I don't know how you can even bother to stay here, you know? It is so cold here. Look, I don't mind. Well, I do, because I don't want you catching pneumonia, so you're coming with me. Come on. What? You're coming with me back to Billy and Nadine's. <laughs> no. They won't mind. They've got plenty of room. Look, Bridget, I don't even know them very well. It's okay. You know me. Come on, I don't want you to be alone right now. Come on. Please. Definite angels. Well, hello again. Hi. Um, I brought Hart back here because, you know, he's been sleeping in the stables. And it's really cold, and I'm afraid he's going to get some horse disease or something, and then we're just going to have to shoot him. So, would it be okay if he stayed here? Well, you know, I, I agreed to hire him, but I don't recollect agreeing to adopt him. I, I, look, Mr. Lewis, it's okay. I don't want to be... All right, all right. Ho, ho, ho. Just pulling your chain. Bad habit. <laughs> of course you can stay here. We don't, we don't want our employees sleeping with the horses. You want to sleep with a sheep or occasional dog? That's uh, doing again, aren't I? No, okay. You can stay here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Please, come on. Since you're here, you may as well just settle in. Uh, just tonight. Hi, hon. I'm getting a paycheck soon. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what happened with him? You couldn't wait for his 2 o'clock feeding? No, we're going to have to start feeding him with half-gallon bottles. <laughs> you know, look, you're not going to have him stay down here on the upholstery. No way. You take him up, put him in the guest bedroom, and that's what the guest bedroom's for. Uh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going to sleep? And the master's going to sleep in the master bedroom. There will be no editorial comments. Just go on up there and put new sheets on the bed and put out some towels. And little Petey and I will keep Mr. Hart entertained, won't we? Sit down, boy. <clears throat> Come on, sit down. <sighs> Mr. Lewis, I really appreciate this. Mr. Hart, I'm glad you came back because I've been thinking about you. Yeah? I would think so after that three-ring circus tonight. That wasn't none of your doing. Besides, I, I don't mind uh, Roger Thorpe airing out whatever on his mind, because when he stops talking, that's when I start listening for the floorboards to creak at night. Is this going to be a problem, my working with you? No. No, I was wondering if it might not just be a situation which was vice versa. Um, you're throwing your lot in with me something that you can really stand doing to your father. Table for one? Hmm? Oh, uh, no thanks, I'll wait. 
Wait for what? Huh? A more sympathetic face. No oh. offense. You uh -huh. know, the one with the long legs and your sense of humor? Cindy. You know, I noticed that my hostess had become one of your favorites, man, but you just missed her. She's uh, somewhere between here and the garage. You got a phone number? <laughs> oh, come on. I always ask this, my mother. The worst they can do to you is what? Say no. Oh, I call the police. Uh, I meant to give you a black eye. Yeah, I thought it'd be a shame to waste the shine I'd put into the bed in a hotel room when I could get Cindy to put a nice, big, juicy steak on it. Mindy, Mindy, my friend, okay? Yeah. Now, you know, we don't really have much of a dress code around here, but we do try to encourage the customers, please don't wear raw meat in the dining room. Oh, please, trust me, this is not something that you want to be doing in my place of business. What was your part in all this? You set the bait? Come on, come on. Give me a reason to break your neck. Or was it some sort of prearranged plan with Billy leave a couple hundred bucks lying around knowing that my son would find it, knowing he couldn't afford a shoe shine? Oh, you're actually blaming me because your son is a thief. I'm blaming you for conspiring with Billy to make it look that way. Now, how else would it happen that Hart winds up with Billy under his control? He doesn't own this club. Nobody does own the building. But the club is yours, right? So you should have handled it, right? Come on, one phone call to me, it would have been taken care of. You had better jump for joy that I didn't handle it. Because if I did, your boy would be sitting in a jail cell awaiting trial right now. Right? Boy, that's pretty big talk, but you wouldn't have dared. Really? Why not? What are you going to do, take it out on my wife? Hell, Roger, the biggest favor you could do for me is firing her. Oh, what's the matter? You having a little trouble controlling the little woman? Hey, she's free to leave WSPR anytime she wants. No, actually, she's not, because you brainwashed into thinking that you were her one and only shot in this town. Mr. Big Opportunity. You ought to be grateful, because I'm sure I pay her more than you pull in in this pretentious dump. You know, I really don't need Billy to give me a reason to want to just break you in half, you know? The fact that you would take somebody with a spirit as proud, straightforward as Jilly and try to make a tap dance to your tune, that's plenty, man. Hmm. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you call my son a thief, but there's no putting a price. And what you and Billy stole from me, I promise you, you're going to be repaid in kind. You really don't have the time. Where'd you take him? Who? Oh, my son. Told me to take a left, take a right. I did it. Looks like a couple of big old barns to me. Where's Mindy? Miss Popularity. You too. <laughs> Mindy had nothing to do with harder and rest of this. You leave a beat. Psycho. He's allowed to walk the streets? Oh, yeah. Yeah, makes himself out to be a pillar of the community. You see, most people don't find out otherwise until they start messing with something that he likes to think it belongs to him, you know? <laughs> hey! Hey! This works! All right! <laughs> Doctor, fix it. All right. You want to try it out? You want some? Oh, you know, I would love to, Ed, but I really should be getting back. I'm sure Eve is called and left a message on the machine by now, so... But I'll take a rain check, all right? Yeah, listen, about that other stuff, you know, I, I, I didn't mean... Oh, no, hey, look, I appreciate the honesty, I do. It's just that I'm, I'm concerned about all of you, that's all. Oh, come on, don't worry about it. I mean, we're all mature adults, right? Have a good night. Good night.
Nick thinks Mindy is going crazy, but little does he know it's all about Eve. Monday on Guiding Light and Don't Blink, Nina. Your dreams are about to come true. Don't look away, Victoria. It's your nightmare in daytime. Monday on The Young and the Restless.